Hello everyone, Flagon here, and I wanted to have a discussion about a, a game that I've played recently and been playing and, you know, I actually really like, but there's just a lot of things about it that are not up to scuff, I gotta say, and that's Assault Bots, and, you, and you've seen me play Assault Bots before, um, where I've, you know, been a little robot going around killing other robots. I'm quite good at the game, which is why I like it. And I also like, you know, the, the mech robot feel of being able to you know, use a, a mech robot thing and go around and for other mech robot things. It's one of the genres that, you know, isn't all that populated with games currently. There's not many straight up mecha games out there. And so when everyone comes around, even if it's just like, hey, for this specific level, in this one game, only for like 30 minutes, there's a mech and you can pilot it. I'm like, I'll get that game. I will do it. That's how much I like mechs, right? And so when one comes around where you can customize it, put different weapons on it, give it legs or tracks or anything like that, it's like, wow. That, uh, something I really want to get into. And so I'm going to just bring up the game so we can talk about it a little. So, so this is the game. I'm signed in. You can see different things here. Um, you got the settings. You got help. You go to the Discord. And there's a thing called the Lucky Box, which I want to talk about here quick. So it's essentially um, like every three hours or so, you can go through this. And it'll... It's like a lottery kind of thing. It'll go through real quick on all these, and then wherever it lands is what you get. So you can get uh, 11 gold, you can get a camo, you can get random credits, which as you can see by credits, I, I have plenty. There's no I'm going to run out. They're worthless at this point. And the gold, which is used for if you see this Get Cool Skins thing down here, you click that, you can uh, get various skins for your craft. As you can. But they're, like, really expensive. So, like, a couple you know, 10 or 20 gold here and there is going to help, especially when you rarely ever get gold. Um, for about a week, I've been doing the lucky box, and I've gone from like 70 gold to 181 gold. It's very, very skewed against you for that. Um, not only that, but on, on the game launcher through Steam, the lucky box just doesn't work. It always has a negative number on it and it always is counting you know down further so even if i click it can't do anything it doesn't work uh it just does not work on the steam version there is however a version on a website it's a browser-based game that you can go to you can use the lucky box but you have to watch ads when you start the game and then when you click the uh start the lucky box thing you have to also watch another ad in order for it to go through. And then uh, the, the two games are linked if you sign in. So you can get your gold or whatever you get on your Steam account by doing it on the website. So I've just added like a, a bookmark on the website uh, to my, my browser. And whenever I'm, you know, uh, maybe I should check that out. I'll, I'll just kind of click on it, do what I'm doing, wait for the ads to play, and then see what I got. That kind of thing. Whatever. Um, but... It's kind of weird that it does not work on their game one, which I'm assuming that's because they want to run ads on it, but cannot do that through the Steam version, and so that's why they're not going to fix it. Uh, my interpretation. Anyway, as we get into here, there there's clans, which they're basically all locked, and you can't really join any. Um, you can create a clan, but that costs... Let's Let's just do this, create a clan. You need 200 gold to create a clan. So I'm just short of that. But as you can see, then that's, that's a thing you can do. There's also leaderboards, which uh, you can see ranked points, which I'm not even going to load it because if we go into ranked, I can show you exactly what happens. So we'll just go ahead and generate a plane, generate that. As you can see, there's one person in the entirety of Assault Bots who is playing ranked. But you need four players to start. The highest I've ever seen the lobby get is to three players. I've never played a ranked match. There's not enough people doing it. What people normally do is hit play and go into a game. And if you hit play, um, you'll go into one of these two basic default rooms. 
Um, and as you can see, one of them just actually disappeared. I do not know why. But uh, there, there's 20 people here, and each match has upwards of a total of 20 players at the most. And once there's 20 people, you can no longer join it. You can also search by players. And uh, if you're playing with a friend and they're in a match, you can click on their name here and go join them as well. Uh, but as you can see, I know nothing here. So what happens if I click play and there's no free lobbies, right? I guess it's just going to put me in a lobby by myself. Yep, in a lobby by myself. So that's what happens. We're just going to go back to the main menu. I don't know why that 10 out of 20 room disappeared, but whatever. Oh, it's, it's back now, apparently. Uh, but actually, you can also create your own room. You can name it whatever. You can make it private if you want to do it with friends. You can choose the map, which is Deserted, Delta Outpost, Martian Outpost, the Astro Fortress, Winter, or Plains. And you can choose the game mode, which it defaults to Conquest, which is what you'll mostly be playing. But there's also Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Elimination, and Capture the Flag. Uh, Capture the Flag is very weird. Um, I played it. And essentially, there's a flag in the middle, and you have two goals where your spawn is at. The goals are just like big square color blocks. And uh, it actually hurts to look at. There's also free for all, which as you estimate is free for all. Team deathmatch is just getting kills. Elimination, I'm not sure what it is. I've never played it. Uh, it sounds like each team only has one life or something. From what I gather, but you can create a room and then people can join it uh, as it happens. There's also a chat here, as you can see. Uh, but it's never that good. Anyway, you can also play offline. You can choose what match you want to play. There's also air battles, I guess, in this one. Uh, but you can choose the map, as usual. And you can choose whether you want it to be easy, medium, hard, or expert for the bot level. Yeah, so you can uh, also choose how many bots you want to play against. Um, I just want to show you guys the, the insanity that is expert because it is crazy. It's absolutely insane. There, there's no possible way for anyone to survive. So we're gonna go with my, uh, my heavy bot here. He's got decent health. Uh, normally he will not die in an instant. I'm already getting shot. I, I'm dead. Let's try that again. Well, let's see if I can get a kill. Oh, wait, oh, there's one shooting at me. Okay. Hey, he killed me again. With the Doom. Okay. Drop one more time. I'll actually use my main gun this time and not mess around with uh, my guns that only fire like once or twice, you know. Okay, he's dead. Perfect. Got another one. Turn it around. Got him again. Okay. Well, as you can see, the, uh, the bots are very, very accurate on Expert, and they will just mess your, your stuff up. Uh, even on hard, it was pretty. It's pretty hard in a free for all type setting like that to to get any kills or anything. So maybe you want to play on uh, easier medium if you're doing that. And to point this out, just so you know that you don't have to verse players. Uh, if, if fighting with players is getting you salty, getting you mad, uh, or whatnot, you can play offline, and it is still game, right? Uh, although it's just bots, and unfortunately, you you cannot make a, a bot room to play with friends uh that's also unfortunate uh but you know it's it's whatever right now you can also go into the hangar and when i first started playing um you had two options you could play as the aliens or the earth defense force and they both had different mechs uh, earth defense would have the btr the mini bot the buggy and the square bot the alien invaders would have the vector medium, the uh, arc beam base, and all the way down here, the chronon heavy. And as you can see, the, the chronon ones or the alien invaders is what they renamed it to. Um, it used to be chronon invaders or something like that, but they changed it to alien for whatever reason. Uh, the alien ones look more advanced. And all of them seem to be based around like cars or stuff like that, right? Because it's like, this is kind of like a Humvee sort of thing. There's wheels here. This is like a little thing, you know. This one's actually called a buggy. But yeah, so uh, it used to be you could only use the alien parts on the alien team and the Earth defense parts on the other team, but they since changed it and made it so you can use any parts anywhere you want, as you can see here. Uh, so like the clack used to be specifically just a human weapon. 
but you can also use it with the alien weapons such as the T-40 Kinetic, uh, for example. There, go back. As you can see for the legs, you have the big wheels, tracks, mechanical legs, huge wheels, plasma wings, chrome wheels, walkers, wings, helicopters, arc wings, smooth tracks, and that's just basically because each action had their own stuff, so like the arc wings were the aliens and the wings were the humans, right? And the helicopters and the plasma wings are the other things like that. And the walker was, as you can see, the human one. So now you can just basically mix and match. Um, they basically do the same thing, as you can see. No real difference between the, the walker legs and the, the chronon legs, except for a little bit more weight on the chronon ones. You can also adjust the turret. I use the, the three job turret here, but you can also choose uh, turrets that just have two but have a smaller hitbox. And if we turn on the hitbox, you can see it kind of here. So tri turret one's a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit weaker, as you can see. But that, that's fine for me. I don't mind that. Uh, you edit the visuals, you can add some different stuff, but of course it, it's going to cost you uh, gold coins to do that. The only thing that you have access to um, right away is... What is that? Ammo. Where's that one at? Not under dust. Can you not do it on this one? Hmm. I guess this one doesn't have that i know the small bot does let's go to that one real quick so oh it's the accessories is what it was sorry so under the accessories you can put these prop guns on it which you can see i've done a, a bunch on but everything else costs like a hundred gold um you can see here i have a bunch of like small little guns that don't do anything on my robot funny stuff right uh, anyway that's kind of the gist of the customization you can like mix and match the wings and stuff but of course if you, if you look at the uh Customization, and then go to uh, edit visuals. You can see that uh, some frames can't take certain guns, right? Um, so, for example, the the heavy thing, it is not able to use smaller guns like this, but the smaller frames, such as the scout and the assault frames, are able to use it, right? Uh, simple stuff like that. Yeah, it used to be that the, the heaviest frame, the heavy frame, could not f use, I think, wings and stuff like that. But now it can, which is really, really easy to abuse now. Because you can just fly around as basically a tank and no one can kill you, essentially, unless it's another one. Or you have a lot of people firing at you at the same time. Impossible. Um, additionally, with impossible, if you look at my uh, attachments here, I have this IR smoke. And what this does is it distracts heat-seeking missiles, or essentially actually what it does is if you have heat-seeking missiles coming for you, you can use it, and the missiles will go awry and not hit you. Or while someone's locking onto you, you can use it, and they won't be able to continue locking on. It'll interrupt them completely. And the thing about that is when you're using the IR smoke and someone's locking onto you, your IR smoke cooldown refreshes quicker than they can lock onto you again. So it's impossible to lock onto someone if they have IR smoke. Also, if you have the, uh, the, the flares, which distract heat-seeking missiles, these always refresh by the time someone can get a lock on for you. So if someone shoots a missile, you use them. Someone locks onto you again, they fire a missile, it's already refreshed. There's absolutely no way to take down a plane with heat-seeking missiles if they have IR smoke or flares. It doesn't have to be both. They can do one or the other. I just uh, keep them around because I like to prevent lock-ons, and if I forget about it because I'm in the middle of combat, I can use the flares to distract the missiles later. So it's, it's whatever. But it, it's just pointless at that point to have the heat-seeking missiles, uh, in my opinion. But anyway, that's kind of the gist of the game itself. Now, give me just one moment. There's a couple of things that I do not like. And one of them, let's go to play offline. I'm just going to set the bot down to zero or one. Uh, we'll, we'll go one. We're going to go to play offline. Now, you might have seen it before when I was, you know, messing around here. I'm going to unmute the, uh, the audio as well. I'm going to go to my Cronon Heavy. 
I use this a lot. I put snipers on it to snipe. But, uh, the thing is... Look at me jump. That's me jumping. Now, obviously, that is not a jump. That's me barely going off the ground. Like, I can sprint and try to jump, but nothing happens. I don't go off the ground. It never used to be like this. I used to be able to jump pretty high. I could get on top of that if I wanted to. Uh... But now I can't. As you can see, on easy, the bots are very much brain dead. They'll walk up to you, shoot you a little bit, and then do whatever. Um, but I, I can't even get up here as the Cronaut Heavy when I used to. Um, so that pretty much sucks. Hi, little guy. You having a good time? Hmm? Anyway, let's respawn. And I'll show you how jumping looks on the smaller frames. I can go over to my vector medium. And as you can see, it can jump pretty much. So the Heavy used to be able to jump just as much as this. Uh, but now, the Heavy can't jump at all, apparently. Uh, I can just you know, jump around, have a good time. As you can see, the Vector is a little bit faster than the Heavy. But uh, still kind of slow. So let's respawn again. And I'll show you the uh, the Arc Beam Base, the, the really small one. Oh, I spawned right into my dead body. Hello. So as you can see, I can, I can jump pretty much just as high as the medium. I can also sprint faster, and if I get a good run, I can, like, jump way across. Uh, so it's, it's really great. Uh, but yeah, so it's like they took the jumping ability completely away from the heavy, which I don't mind. But what's the point of having legs if, you know, it, it, it cannot jump? So let, let's go back to the main menu here. We need to talk about something else now. So... I would not mind all these changes, except that if we look at the patch notes of all the of the game, as you can see, it's assault bots in the upper left. The last one was May seventeenth. Basically, the uh, this update, the server has been moved. That's all it says. It also says, uh, please leave feedback for the game to improve the game. Uh, whatever. Uh, between the seventeenth. And now, in fact, like three days ago from me recording this video or, or something like that, three or four, I forget exactly when, that's when they removed the jumping ability from the heavy. And they do that all the time. These updates are worthless. May 14th, improvements to how the vehicle pieces fit together visually. Uh, May 11th, various changes to improve gameplay. No details. Various changes to improve game being... Updated over network, don't know what that means. Uh, auto AFK kick, whatever. Added keyboard editor, which can be accessed through the settings, pause menu, or you can also toggle full screen with F11 and fix some bugs and improved hitboxes are, are basically the only um, updates that we can see here. I'll try to click more. There's no more. Okay, so yeah, the, the game came to Steam, I think, around this time or something. But yeah. Uh, not a whole lot of detail here. However, since I started playing, they've made uh, the big robots able to be planes. They've made the heavy legs not be able to jump at all. They have done countless rebalances to the weapons, to um, everything like that. They changed that, you know, different sides, use each other's weapons and stuff now. Uh, there, there's just no knowledge of what's going on here. Heck, there was one update where they increased or decreased the gravity, I guess. So you could like jump like two times higher than normal. Uh, that came out of nowhere. And I was like, okay, well, time to get re, uh, used to the game again to, to figure out jumping and how to like counter people who are jumping all over the place. Uh, that took a while to get used to. But the thing is, they're making changes without telling anyone. It's impossible. And I've, I've seen the developer come into the, uh, a game, and, and the developer seems nice enough. They, they ask about, hey, uh, how are you guys liking the game? Is there anything that, you know, feel like it could be improved? And people would be like, hey, yeah. So, like, some of the guns feel like they're unbalanced, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the guns still feel like that at times. There's some that are just obviously worthless, some that are obviously the best. Um, but uh, the one thing I have seen before is 
they are able to change the weapons immediately. So I don't know what they're doing, but like one, one match, I had the developer come in and they were like, okay, I just made a change to missiles. Do you guys want to like swap and try them? And then apparently the, the missiles like became better or something. Um, and it was like, okay, you can do that like all of a sudden and not have to like update anyone that you did it? Like, what the fuck? So it, it, weird. It, it's just weird, you know? And uh, speaking of the developer, uh, I think like two, three days ago, there was actually an, an issue that came up while I was playing the game. And let's switch over to that, shall we? This is a video that I recorded of the developer cheating. Yeah, I was using cheats. So let's go ahead and hit play on it, shall we? There's no audio or anything, but uh, just a 40 minute video, as you can see here, the developer's right there because he has developer in his name. This is the same guy who makes changes on the fly, asks for feedback, all that stuff. And as you can see, he's firing a sniper rifle into the sky where no one's at, almost like an automatic weapon. And uh, he's getting kills without ever having to look at anything. As you can see, this guy Rommel says, uh, hacker again. And I say, yep, it's the dev at that. So I, I'm just filming him cheating, just shooting around and whatnot. And uh, as you can see there, it's, it's names up there. And uh, when I called him out, he just quit. He, he just left the game, which uh, unacceptable behavior from a developer. Just c completely unacceptable. Uh, if it would have been one thing if he would have came in and been like, hey, I'm going to test out uh, this hack that we know people have been using to see if I can figure out how it works and to get rid of it. Um, or if I, someone would have called him out like we did and he would have been like, sorry guys, I was just testing this out to figure out how to stop it. Nothing. He didn't say anything. He didn't give an excuse. He didn't warn everyone that he was going to ruin their gaming experience by doing the hacks. He just came in, hacked, and then left. Um, and it, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I recorded that video. And if we go over to discussions, um, if it loads, maybe? It's not loading. Okay, that's, that's great. Uh, just one moment here. Game or Steam? Hello. Can I do anything? My Steam just like decide it was gonna just freak out. So I made a couple of posts on this game, right? Oh wait, maybe I can't do it because the game's open? That doesn't make sense. Does it? Let's switch over to this. Wrong one, this one. And I'll, I'll close out of the game, see if it works. I know I've been in the community area because I've been writing stuff while doing it. I can't get into the community hub now. Does it not allow me to do it because I'm recording? That doesn't sound right. Well, anyway, um, I wish I could show you guys, but I did make a couple of posts. First, when cheating was rampant, when there were a bunch of cheaters, I had made a, oh, this is interesting. Um, so we're back here. Uh, Notice anything missing from the top here? We still have the news, but the discussions was gone and news. Huh. News is gone now too. Is Steam freaking out or is the game, or are they like currently doing something to, here we go. I, I don't know what the heck is going on. Steam must have been just having a schizo thing. So anyway. Uh, back to what we were discussing. 
Uh, so in the developer, uh, in, in the you know, general discussions for the game, I posted a thread saying, a developer using hacks. Was in a match today, a developer named him. I was using cheats. Here's a video of it. So I posted the video, which is, uh, it's unlisted on my channel. I didn't want to post it and have you guys, you know, see it for no reason. Uh, basically, it was not aiming, automatically firing with a sniper rifle, killing the whole enemy team. They didn't say anything before or after they did this. And when we called them out, they just left. Called them pathetic. Um, also, if we go to another discussion that I started called Cheaters, um, I say that I have encountered a variety of different cheaters in the game, people who fly around when they aren't planes or helicopters, which is bad, uh, people who glitch under the maps and can't be killed, people who fire automatically and stuff. And I named these two people, uh, Yare Yare 2 and Elite Sniper. And there was also OK Boomers here, and I provided you know, screenshots of what they did how they were, you know, doing it, uh, what they were doing. And then I also, since I, I have recording software ready to record the game, I also recorded uh, some other, you know, stuff of, of this. There was also a guy whose name was just uh, the N-word, but the actual N-word. I'm not going to say it, obviously. But uh, this, uh, this is my thing about him. Uh, he was using an invisibility hack, and his name was, like, way too big on the kill feed. It was just disruptive, uh, but he also had a similar like hack that the uh, developer was using where he could just like shoot anywhere and people would just die. It was ridiculous. And so that's what sparked all this. And I had people agreeing with me like, hey, I was just in this game and they can, you know, I can confirm that he's cheating. He even posted a Discord tag to get, get cheats. Um, this guy said, this is one of the many reasons why I don't PvP. Uh, and this guy said, yeah, I saw these guys a couple of days ago. Knowing that he has no skill, he, you know, gets cocky about using cheats and, and whatnot. Um, uh, you know, all these people are, you know, agreeing with me and saying stuff like that. And then at the end, no comments from the developer at this point, by the way. Um, and, and this has been up since May 15th. Uh, no, I posted the video of the developer using cheats and no comment. Uh, so if we go back to the general discussion, I posted the, uh, the developer using hacks on May 28th, which is when I saw him use it. So it's been a couple of days, but no comments from any of the developers. I don't know if it's one guy or multiple, um, but it, it seems odd that they will not address this, right? Uh, also, in what makes you upset about the game, this is something that the developer, uh, Lucas, as you can see here, has asked people, right? Uh, hey, what's kind of bad about the game? And he's like, hey, how are there like level 1,000 players? And, you know, the people posting different stuff about, you know, what's going on and whatnot. And then I posted, hey, it's definitely a problem with hackers. Um, I even recorded two hackers doing it. Uh, there was one even advertising it on his Discord. And then I mentioned something else about like spawn camping and stuff happening there. Uh, there seems to be no developer discussion on, on the subject after I began actually, you know, doing anything here. Um, there's a couple of people who post in here, but for the most part, it's just, it seems to be just me complaining about cheaters and whatnot. And until the developer used cheats, I actually had not seen those guys who were frequently cheating around again. And obviously, if they're going to be cheaters... It makes sense that they would just leave the game and uh, not play it again, since, I mean, I feel like it would be boring to just fly up in the sky, shoot in one direction, and you get kills. Uh, that, that's all they were doing, so maybe they got bored and went to the next game to cheat on. Who knows? Who cares? Uh, it's ridiculous, though, that the developer decided to also do that. And let me actually go back to the, uh, the, the dev cheating video. So... You can see the gun icon in the upper upper uh, left there, or upper right, sorry. That's the gun he's using. Yeah, I think it's the M3 is what the sniper rifle's called. Firing it automatically, killing people from across the map. Uh, and I wanted to point this out so that I could show you how it actually looks in the game and how it functions in the game. Let me start the game back up here. And that will show you. Uh, capture? 
Bro, what are you doing? Hold on. Cool. All right. We're back in. So let's just go to play offline again. I don't want to deal with dealing with other players. We'll just go easy. I'll add two bots. Uh, team death in there. But we'll just do one. Play offline. Whatever. So I got the gun on my front out heavy, and I'll show you right here. It, it's this gun. You can see it's the, the same you know, look. Marksman M3. Okay, so we'll deploy. Switch to it, Marksman M3. Let me just find the enemy here, and I'll shoot him, and you can see what it looks like in the kill feed and how it fires. Let's see. Where is he at? There's mine, so he must be close. All right, I can't jump. Forgot. Enemy. I'll just show you how it fires. So that's as fast as I can fire it. I was mashing the, the click button. So you get two shots. One, two. Then you got to reload. Um, so that is how it works. I'm going to step in his landmine. Maybe he'll, there we go. So as you can see, it looks like the same exact icon in the upper right as the developer had when he was getting kills with it as well. So he was obviously using the same cheats that uh, the people who I had also uh, mentioned. Can't say reported because there's no way to report people in the game. But uh, as you can see, it, it, for the lower tier bots, it's a one hit kill. It's a very good gun. Uh, it's just at range. The shots drop off, so it's not as accurate at range. So you have to kind of adjust for that. But at this distance, as long as you can hit the target, it, it'll go straight. Kill the small bots. The bigger bots, it'll take, you know, two or three shots, maybe a little... I think usually only two or three for the, this gun. Um, but that's if they're not moving and, uh, you know, you have trouble you hitting them. Right? No. So. Sorry, I didn't find a group. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, Alexa likes to talk for no reason. But, yeah. It, uh... It just instantly kills the smaller bots. Bigger bots, it takes a couple. But if you're firing it automatically, then you're going to kill everything regardless. Uh, especially if it has a just fire in the air and, oh, someone dies kind of thing, right? So it, uh, it's kind of weird that it's like that. Uh, that the developer was doing it automatically and all that stuff. I can also use this gun, the clack, uh, and also kill him in one shot. Just to show you it's not that one weapon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, it's really a bummer. I really like this game. I mean, I have like, what, 60, 80 hours in it already. And I just started playing it like this month. So basically, I've just been playing it whenever I have a free time, you know? But, man, it's a real bummer that uh, the dev... The de 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 the devs are cheating, or the dev at least is cheating. I don't know what they're doing, and they're not talking about it, so uh, no way I can tell if you know they're um, actually you know testing it out to get rid of it, or if they were actually cheating because they're losers. I haven't heard anything about it though. And the uh, the videos I've uploaded do have views. People have viewed them. But you can only view them if you go to the, the discussion and click the link there. If you don't have the link, you can't view it if it's unlisted on YouTube. So someone didn't just randomly stumble upon it. Go and watch it, whether it's the devs or people who are going to it as well. Uh, I don't know. But I also have my review up here. And so at first, uh, let, me, let me toggle over to this theme capture here. So as you can see, this is my, my pre-edited uh, review. Uh, I love the game, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I kind of give like, a couple of criticisms, but I say, hey, it seems like there is you know, things that are good about it, but it's a free game, try it, whatever. Then once all the cheating happened, I came up here and I, I made an edit on the 19th. I was like, yeah, there's a few hackers and glitches in the game. Here's a video, two of them. Some of these people I can deal with because even with hacks, they're just so bad at the game, it doesn't matter. Uh, but then, Two came in, just rain down missiles wherever, and instant kill you from anywhere on the map. Uh, the devs seem interested in changing the game balance and such. 
but if they can't do anything about the hackers, the game's going to die fast. And so I was like, the hackers are losers, they're scum, even with hacks that can barely do better than I do when it comes to kills, but it's not fair. And for that reason, I changed my review from recommended to not recommended. And then after I saw the developer cheating, I added to my review again and said, well, it looks like the game's a lost cause now uh, since the developer himself is using hacks. See in the video below, we got an instant kills people uh, and they're firing automatically with a sniper that reloads every two shots. Yeah, they're firing automatic and, you know, not even aiming and killing people. Uh, the dev has not mentioned anything about it. Um, even though I have, you know, it opened a comment, but there's, there's no comments. Um, if the developer really cared about improving the game, they would, you know, say, hey, we were testing stuff out or try to do some damage control, uh, I, I feel. Uh, if they do seem like they're adjusting stuff every day, you know, because I mean, like I said, uh, I posted this video and called them out. And then a couple of days later, they changed it so that the big bots can no longer jump. So they, they are actively doing things, which I would think would be looking at, you know, various reviews and stuff like that. And you can see I have a uh, 62 hours, uh, 21 in the last weeks. I've been playing it for about a month now, right? Uh, but yeah, it's just ridiculous that these developers would cheat and they would allow hackers to be on here. Um, they wouldn't respond. I, I don't know. Like, I like the game. I'm going to continue to play it. But, I mean, the player base is already, like, 20 to 40 people at any given time. Um, very rarely have I ever seen, like, three full lobbies in the, the game. Uh, it's always just, like, a full lobby of 20 at the most, and then, like, maybe a lobby of 10. But other than that, there's not that many. And most of them are, like, guests and... I don't know if, like, the guests' accounts, if it's just someone who does not have an account, they open the game to play it. Even if they played it before, they just get a new guest account that has zero wins on it. Because a lot of the people I encounter are guests who have zero wins. And so if, if that's the case, um, if, if it's the case that it's just whoever comes on gets a new guest account, even if they played before, um, that's whatever. But if indeed what I think the guest accounts are given, you know, per person or per IP address or something, and they come back to the same guest account every time they play the game, then that means there are so many new people coming in that I constantly, every single day, see people who have never won a single match. And I've not seen the gameplay go over you know, 40 players at once. Which really means that we're losing a lot of players even though new ones are coming on, if that's, if my thinking is correct. Uh, but yeah, but, but if it is, you know, just the same people playing and they're just, you know, starting at zero wins uh, again, then, you know, whatever, that's, that means we're at least consistently keeping the same amount of people but it doesn't seem like we're growing or anything. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I figure if things don't improve for it, the, uh, the game will definitely die out soon. Uh, I mean, I consistently get like 20 to like 60 kills every game. And meanwhile, like fight people who for some reason can only get like 10 or lower kills a game. And... I feel kind of bad about it, but also I'm not like doing anything specifically different. And if people wanted to, they could, you know, look at the kill cam, see what guns I'm using and be like, oh, maybe I should try using that gun. And then they just have to, you know, figure out the aim and stuff. And then bam, they, they did it. Like, I'm not like a professional game player, like a CSGO player who's, you know, crazy good at aiming or anything. I miss a lot of shots still. Uh, so the fact that most people cannot seem to uh, to kill me or to you know, get the same amount of kills I can is just weird. I mean, there are people who are good at the game and that when I fight against them, it's like, oh my God, this guy again? Ugh. And uh, it's like, they're, they're really good. And 
clearly it's not just me who's you know really good at the game but there seems to be some sort of like difficulty curve or knowledge curve or something like that that's preventing people from actually doing well i don't know if it's like just the balance in the weapons is messed up so if they you know start with a weapon uh they're gonna do bad because they don't know how to you know, pick the good ones that are good because it's they just have like these little slider bars to tell you like what the damage and range is it's not like an actual value so you have to like compare them by like looking at it but you cannot just compare two guns you have to like look at one gun scroll down to the next one and by that time you might have ever forgotten where they were at unless you like marked it on your screen or something uh, yeah also as i mentioned there's a browser game apparently you can play on the browser against people who are playing on the steam version and also apparently there's a mobile game so i don't know if the mobile game is also on the same like server as that i heard you can also play with a controller um so if i'm versing m mobile players obviously i know why i'm killing them all right and if i'm versing controller players also clearly i understand why i'm winning because their aim just cannot keep up uh so yeah it's just kind of odd you know I like the game, but I just don't see it doing very well in the long run, which is such a shame because they had such an opportunity to like fill that niche market of the people who like mech games and to make something truly cool and great here, but they just lost it because of the hackers, because of poor you know, game balance, because player base can't be kept around or something. I, I don't know. Weird. I'm going to continue playing it until it gets unbearable or until something newer and better comes around, you know, but I do like the game. It's just a shame that there's a lot of problems with it, fortunately, but it is free. So do what you want. That'll be all for me, everyone. I just wanted to talk about the game for a little while. So until next time, catch y'all later. Bye.